Now, while snow can be a hassle for many of us grown-ups, it's a winter wonderland for kids today. Several schools transition to remote learning, some canceling classes altogether. Yeah, but what do working parents do when the kids need to stay home? Heather Abraham knows that struggle well. She's joining us live from outside her home. She's shaking her head already. Ready. You're working from home today. I, I, I'm curious what it's like outside. I'm also curious what it's like inside your home right now, yeah. Heather. <laughs> I wish I had advice. I, I don't know how to do this thing. Um, I first want to tell you guys, you did a great job this morning. I've been watching since early this morning. Fantastic job from the entire team, keeping everybody safe and informed. And yes, when we started to have our planning meetings yesterday, we thought, okay, we don't want to have our guests coming into the PTL studio and risking them out on the roads. Let's also keep our crews to a minimum too. So I had the uh, fortunate assignment to work from home today. Um, I already put my heart PTL on the minivan here. But I have to tell you, I am not a skilled work from home parent. Uh, Frankie, of course, a firefighter. I know they're watching down at the fire station in the south side right now. And being in the news business, we didn't have the luxury of working from home and making that work and figuring it out. So today, I will tell you a bit of a cluster. I'm not going to lie. Um, already this morning, we've gone through a pot of coffee, uh, a load of laundry, an accident. Um, that was Tina, by the way. And three kids who are wondering why I'm outside before they are. They, I think Rocco might be crying or maybe he fell asleep. I'm not really sure. Tina was licking the glass. They are ready to get out here. And I'm, okay, see, and how do I parent this? From, no, do not headbutt the glass. You cannot breathe. They're headbutting the window. What am I supposed, how do, oh so yeah, I don't have advice. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, Tina, if you're wondering, is our dog if you're not new to this, to PTL, if you're new to this. Um, I do think that the kids are gonna be slightly disappointed. Yeah. I've been watching some of the reports this morning, not good snowball weather, not good snowman weather, but they are itching to get out here and go sled riding. So much so they're like banging on the glass, <laughs> like they're like in prison in there and they're yeah. just like begging to come out, Heather. <laughs> Yeah, they are banging on the glass. I will also tell you, I had to go through early this morning to see what kind of snow, winter weather gear we had for the kids. Um, and I am short one pair of snow pants. So I'm gonna walk up to our neighbor's house. Thank goodness for good neighbors. Uh, after I yell at my kids to stop banging on the window. <laughs> and then we'll get outside. <laughs> So we're going to check back in with you later on. And at that point, we assume you will have found the snow pants. Everyone will be outside yes. throwing snowballs or whatever yes. is possible. All right. So we can't wait for that. Yeah. Do you need reinforcements yeah, neither, at any point? David. Do you need un uh, Uncle David and Uncle Gary to come Aww. over and help? You know, I did notice that you hesitated. You were like, uh, uh, uh Uncle David, um, don't worry. I won't ask that of you, I promise. <laughs> We're willing. Don't We're worry. willing. We got Heather. it covered. I think. Okay. All right. We can't. And don't wait worry. To... They are under supervision. Our super. Our. our I was going to say supervisor. Our babysitter <laughs> Shannon is inside supervising what's happening. A little bit. She's the supervisor. <laughs> yeah. All right, Heather. We'll check back okay. in with you later on. We wish you all the luck in the world. You may need it right now.